Virgos, welcome to my channel, Elpis Enlightenment. I am doing your February monthlies. I went ahead and shuffled and pulled all the cards and meditated on your reading so as not to sit here and waste time shuffling about. Now, when I did your whole entire reading, I pulled one card out for February for what's influencing you or what's um, the main theme and topic for February. And you got five of swords. So something is weighing heavily on your mind. You, you're really thinking about um, a situation and it, you're just going over and over again in your head. Sometimes this is the card of bittersweet, winning but at the loss of something. So you're, you're getting something that you've always wanted and you're right, but then you're getting it at the cost of uh, something else, the bittersweet. Like, for example, you get an argument with some friends, you're right, and you prove your point, but then you may lose that friendship because they just don't want to deal with somebody that, you know, isn't as understanding. I'm not saying that's what's happening here. I'm just giving you an example of what this bittersweet could be all about. Now, for you, it could be regarding um, a relationship, a love relationship. It could also be regarding, you know, a work relationship. And we're going to get into it. But overall, this is what's on your mind. And in, and in this deck where you could see, you know, you have this crow and he's head. And this reminds me of the at El Edgar Allan Poe, you know, the raven, where at the end of the whole entire uh, story, you know, he's buried the body, but and he got away with murder. And the cops come in at the end of it, and, the you know, they're having tea sitting on top of the body. And, you know, he's over there thinking, they're going to find out. They're going to find out. They're going to know I'm a fraud. They're going to know I'm a murderer. They're going to know I'm a killer. They're going to... Meanwhile, they, they don't have a clue. They're, the cops are just sitting there drinking their tea. So, you know, something's weighing on your mind in the regards that you feel like, again, the shoe's gonna, the other shoe is going to drop or somebody's going to find out something that you have done. That's the, um, just the feeling. I'm not saying that's actually what's going to happen. It's just the influence that's happening for you um, for February. Now, you start out at a gate at the beginning of the month with the Eight of Wands, which are messages coming your way. Uh, emails, text messages, something along the like. You may be dealing with a Leo or and or need strength to deal with this situation that's obviously, you know, weighing on your mind so greatly. And I suspect it is over regarding a relationship, the lovers. So maybe you recently got into a new relationship and you're afraid of possibly your past and you don't want to bring it up or you had somebody from the past that you're afraid might, you know, come in and haunt you, something along those lines, for sure. Leo, you know, there's, a, I'm sorry, Virgos, there's so many of you guys. I said Leo because you may very well be dealing with one, and that's subconscious, so. Anyway, Virgos, there's so many of you guys out there, so these messages have to be general. Please go and listen to your moon sign and or your rising sign as some of the messages might either clarify what goes on in this reading or they may resonate with whatever's going on in your life in February. Now, with that said, please drop a like and or subscribe so we can circulate this message out there for the other Virgos who are meant to hear these messages. Now, going back to the beginning of February when you got the lovers, this is still a choice. So you're still debating this relationship and or situation. But I think I heard past or your, your past or you're hiding something and it's weighing on your mind quite greatly. So it's something that um, it is influencing the whole entire month. Now, in the middle of the month, you got the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is a small offer, either given or received. And I believe it is more or less you, Virgos, just trying to like um, putting out that offer and saying you, that you're receptive or that you'll accept the offer or that, you know, you like what you hear and, and you're putting an offer on the table. So if you're the uh, Virgo buying a house, you're putting in a small offer. Or if you were just, you know, recently asked for a, um, you know, to, to become a couple in a new relationship, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested. Or if you're, um, you know, married and you, you're discussing something with your spouse and, 
you know, there, there's an offer that, that is put forth in front of you, you're making that kind of offer. In the middle of the month, also surrounding and crowning your whole entire reading, is the King of Swords. So, this lover and or other person you're dealing with may be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. A very cerebral individual, a very, you know, well thought out individual. Somebody who constantly weighs out his pros and cons. And this may also very well be you, because you've got the Two of Pentacles. You are juggling a situation and or having to make a choice between between two situations you are weighing your pros and cons the highs and the lows the ups and the downs the yes and the no's the, you know the white versus black version kind of situation so i think for you virgos you're definitely you know weighing the situation and i really think you're weighing out the situation regarding a relationship um at the end of the month now you have seven of cups you're confused. You're, you're confused by the offers that are put forward to you on the table. You don't want to turn over the wrong cup because, you know, that's going to determine what happens for you in the rest of your life. So you don't want to make the wrong choice. So you're a little, you know, confused as to what, which way to go. Don't get me wrong. You've been waiting for this relationship forever. You know, you've been trying to manifest it for a long time. And this is what you have is the magician. This is at the end of the month. You know, and I think the universe, because I believe this was also in your mid-month reading. Um, I don't have a January reading because I'm new to YouTube. As you can see, the viewership is not that high just yet. Just yet. With your help, we could change that. Anyway, the magician is here to tell you that, you know, and this very well for me. Sometimes it's the Aries or Taurus. just depends which reader you're talking to. But for me, I just feel like for you, this is something you've been trying to manifest. And now that it's arrived, you're like... Um, is it right for me? Is this the right choice? It just got dark all of a sudden. Um, and for some reason, maybe you feel like you're competing for this relationship or they feel like they're competing for this relationship with you because the five of wands is here, the card of competition. But it, it also fell out with the star because at the end of the day, though, you're the one that's going to come out smelling like roses. You're the star in this whole entire situation, you know, and this is also the card of Aquarius. So this, again, I feel like you're either dealing with a, uh, a Leo or a, an air sign. Very well, much could be an Aquarian. Um, I did pull some Oracle cards because the lover just did come out. I said, let me see if this is, you know, romantically um, inclined. You got worth waiting for and wedding. So, wedding. This situation involves marriage. So this person could be married and getting a divorce and getting into a relationship with you. And this is why you are ruminating over this choice or thinking of what to do. Or it could be vice versa. You're hopping out of a relationship and getting into a new one with this person. Um, worth waiting for. But I don't think that's the case. I think that you've been waiting for a very, very long time for this person. And you've dated, you've been up and you've been down that dating wheel and it wasn't that great that, you know, finally you've manifested that person. Now, mind you, this is at the end of the month. So I think you recently met this person and these energies are carrying over into February. But I think while you were waiting all this time for this individual, it was worth it. Definitely, because it could lead to marriage. Um, trust what's going on because angel answer says trust and I'm just trying to move the curtain get some extra light in here okay so help don't know helpful people you've got a huge support team you've got a lot of friends you got a lot of helpful people around you who could probably more or less you know give you good advice and tell you what to do you know I think that, you know, your world in general, Virgos, is pretty good because I think it's very tight-knit. Now, that's why you might be a little bit nervous as to making this choice, and that's what's plaguing you. I, would, I don't want to even say plague because I think you have these lovers on the table, but you're, I don't know why you would even be thinking, you know, being so anxious over this. Um, I'm going to clarify some of these cards. What are these Eight of Wands? Please pop out for us. Or oh, take the top card for my Virgos. What's going on for my Virgos? Whoa. 
yeah, the two of swords, but it came in the reverse position. So you kind of didn't know what to do regarding these messages that were coming in. You were asking yourself, like, I don't I don't get it. I don't know. What, what are they trying to say? But now, like, you were trying to make a choice, a, a decision based on you moving forward or not with this uh, relationship and or person. But I feel as if, you know, I think you know now what you want to do. Like, coming into February... Um, you are more or less really considering, you know, this person. Mm, trying to make it more light. Okay, the lovers. Why is the lovers here, please? One more shuffle, please. Tell us about the lovers. Ah, yeah. Four of Swords. So, you're trying to heal the situation within a love relationship. So, I don't know if you broke up or you were having arguments or you were having fights and or, you know, you, you one of you wanted to go in a direction. Like, one of you wanted to uh, more of a commitment than the other person and maybe you had an argument, maybe you had a fight, but, you know, with these lovers... There's a sense of healing because you have the four of swords. I don't see breakup on the table. I just see that, you know, you are talking about... I, I don't know why I heard this. I don't care. I'm just going to say it. Shit or get off the pod. <laughs> Wedding. Shit or get off the pot. Because Page of Pentacles is here in the middle of the month. You're like, the, the offer's too small. It's just too small. Why is Page of Pentacles here, please? Let's clarify. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my clarification is going to say something completely different, Virgo. And I'm just talking bananas out of my butt. Ooh. Page of Cups. Yeah. Uh, the, the offers are small that you're getting. They're like little peanuts to you. I mean, the relationship came in. And maybe you're rushing it. I don't think so. I just think that... <coughs> You want more and, you know, you maybe you're not getting it or maybe you've been dating this person for a very long time and you're just waiting if, like, you should just break up with this person and move on to find something more solid or vice versa, which is probably why you have the Two of Pentacles from mid-month going into the end of month trying um, to decide what to do here. So let's just see. Two of Pentacles, please. Please clarify first the Two of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're you're having messages back and forth, and you guys are discussing, you know, what's going on. Here we go again. This is exactly what I was saying before. Um, the Seven of Cups. Uh, confused about the situation or not knowing what choice to make regarding this relationship. The Eight of Pentacles, and it in reverse, talks about not working towards it anymore. And the Page of Swords, but in reverse. You're you're a little bit tired of the scenario. You're just sort of like, I don't want to say giving up, but you definitely just are tired of waiting for what the other person is going to do. It's starting to seem to me more and more as if, you know, um, this looks like Virgo... Uh, you're trying to escalate the relationship. And, you know, the, the luck is on your side because Pisces and Venus right now it was from the 13th until February 7th, and it's in your relationship sector. So it's for the whole entire, all the zodiacs and the whole entire zodiac wheel, it's in the luckiest place for the Virgo. So, you know, this is your time. Let's see, Seven of Cups. Let's clarify. Well, that just came out fast. Yeah, I mean, you're burdened by this situation because you have the Nine of Wands. And it kind of what felt like this. So you, it tells me you want to drop the burdens. You want to drop the bullshit. You just want to move forward, move on with your life. Magician, why is Magician here? Please clarify the Magician for us. Temperance. Oh, coupled by the Magician? That's crazy. Do you see it better here? Let me just bring it here. 
the temperance, which is the card of Sagittarius, um, talks about bringing in balance, restoring balance, you know, um, you have manifested this relationship or you've been trying to manifest this, um, whether you want to get engaged to Virgos or move on to the next level, you've been trying to manifest this. You've been trying to balance this relationship. You have been looking at your lover and trying to heal this whole entire scenario. You, you waited a long time and it was worth the wait. It was Virgo, but you, now you want to get married, you know, you're, you're just, um, you're just like there, you know, now the star with the five of wands, you're competing to bring this to a completion. And, you know, you're the one that's going to come out smelling like roses, like I said before. Why is the star here with the five of wands? Please clarify this. Please clarify this. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? What am I saying here? Yeah, three of cups, but in reverse. So, you know, maybe in the past there was somebody that was hindering your relationship. Maybe there was an ex on your end, or an ex on their end, a mother, or father, uh, you know, nosy Nancy or two cents Sally giving their too much or, you know, there was in the past there was a break and the other person went with somebody else for a temporary, whatever it is, you know, it's in the reverse. It's gone, it's done, it's over. You might have been arguing regarding and this third party situation and that's why you have the card of competition. Maybe you were competing for this relationship with somebody else and you basically are the star and one out. And now you're trying to heal this with your lover. So you're the one that's going to win out. And the universe is saying trust that you will. Now that is at the end of February. So realize, Virgos, that, you know, this is um, uh, a whole entire thing that's going to go down the whole entire month of February. And interestingly enough, we, you know, my top three cards are the beginning of the month. The middle is the middle of the month. And the bottom is the end of the month. But if I go in the other direction... The beginning of the month where I told you it, you're dealing with the lovers, you're juggling the situation that ends with you competing for this relationship, but you coming out winning as the star down the line at the end of the month. This is at the end of the month. Same thing with over here, where you got the beginning of the month. You have text messages, messages going back and forth. Now you're slowly starting to talk about the relationship, the offer on the table. And then you have the choice to make over here. Same. Now here are the people that you're dealing with right down the middle. Beginning of the month, you have the, the strength card, where you need strength Firstly, for the whole entire situation, you need the strength to deal with what's going on in this relationship. And you may very well be dealing with this king of swords, you know, but trust that this what's being manifested is the right thing for you. And there are helpful people like me, <laughs> your tarot reader. No, but you have a lot of support on your side. Whatever it is, I can see now why you got the Five of Swords and why this was such a, you know, issue for you in February. Now, these things ebbs and flows, and these are just the energies of what's going on in February. I don't know what's going to happen. You have to come back for your mid-months and or for your March reading. And until then, love you, Virgos. Bye.